Hey guys, good morning, it's Callie. In this video, we're continuing the Kanmari Purge, and I'm still in my art supply category, and I'm going to be dealing with markers, pens, and pencils. So I'll show you where I have them stored, and then we're going to lay them out on the floor and see what sparks joy. So just a second, and I'll show you where they're stored. Okay, guys, I have pens or pencils or markers in this box this box, this bag, hang on, and then I have this cabinet here, and then the bottom is loaded with markers and all kinds of writing implements. I also have pens with my stationary storage, and I have markers and pens. I'm also going to do crayons. Um, with my grandchildren's stuff. So I'm going to grab everything and pull it out and dump it on the floor and we're going to get to purging. Okay guys, you know the drill. I've laid it all out here and of course I have way too much of everything, but I'm blessed to have what I have. I'm going to go through each and every single crayon marker and pen and see if it sparks joy or not. I'll be testing out all my markers on a scrap piece of paper. Um, yeah, it's quite a pile. If anybody wants to color, come on over. I took the pens uh, from my... St when I went through the stationary purge, I took the pens back out because I wanted to have them in this category as well. There's some chalk. Graphite pencil lead, micron pens, just all kinds of everything you can need to make a mark, and more. And all these pencils, this is a combination of my colored pencils as well as regular pencils. Craypaws or oil pastels, some erasers, pencil sharpeners, uh, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to be busy for a little bit, and uh, when I'm done going through everything, I'll come back and I'll show you our Spark Joy pile and what we're going to donate. See you in a minute. Okay, guys, this took me oh, going on two hours, I want to say, to go through each and every marker, crayon, everything. So you are looking at what I'm keeping, and it is sparking a lot of joy, but I'm sure I still have way too much. This is a combination of mine and my grandchildren's. Um, but I tested everything. I'm super stoked, you guys. You know, it's a big, intensive process, but as each, again, as each category gets gone through, you know, it just falls into place with everything else, and I am just loving my place now, and I can't say enough about this whole method. So I will be uh, storing everything back again, and um, yeah, I think the next category that I'm going to do is going to be my paints. So I might take a break this afternoon before I dive into that, but if not today, then definitely tomorrow. Here's all my colored pencils, a uh, compass, a mechanical pencil, some charcoal. Is my erasers or rubbers, as they say in the United Kingdom. Uh, some graphite pencils, watercolor pencils, some good old-fashioned whiteout, oil pastels, some chalks. I also saved a bag of sidewalk chalk for my grandkids. These are the pens. 
tested them all, woke everything up. I told you a lot of these pens, especially I got in my couponing days. I still coupon, but not like I used to. Uh, yeah, so I'll show you what I'm um, letting go. And I'm actually going to be putting this in uh, the garbage. I thought to save some of it to make my own alcohol inks out of. But honestly, I have so much at this point that I'm just, these are all dried out. They've served their purpose. They've sparked enough joy. I'm letting them go. And uh, yeah, I'm feeling really good, you guys. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And stay tuned for the next. Check out the other videos in my KonMari playlist as well as my other videos. And uh, like this video if you like it. Subscribe if you haven't. And I hope you guys are having a great day. Let me know if you've been motivated to do, you know, if it's not the KonMari method, just spring cleaning in general or different kinds of purging. Um, I love to organize, as you can see. And, uh, yeah, this is making me feel really great. So let me know your experiences, too. And I'll talk to you guys really soon. Take care. See, well, actually, I'll see you when I put this stuff away. Okay, guys, I'm not going to show you their final resting place until I get the whole category art supplies complete. Because I realize my paints are in there and I'm going to have to take everything out and clean it all out before I put it away. So I will show you at the end, again, I I've, I've keep mentioning that I will do a full cottage tour of everything when I'm done. But just so you get an idea, I'll be using the cabinet that I originally took this stuff out of behind my couch. And I'm storing my Prismacolor markers in this um, plastic container, which will go in that bottom drawer, along with some distress markers. Also in that bottom, well, in the cabinet in general, will go all of this stuff. So my gel sticks and my crayons, the chalks, my ink tense blocks, my uh, Derwent ink tense pencils, my Prismacolor pencils, my watercolor crayons, all of my colored pencils, as well as this sharpeners and the graphite and the charcoal and the erasers will go in this box. And this will go on the stand that I have behind the couch. And then I have my Sharpies and the Crayola markers in bags in this clear plastic container, which will also go in the bottom. And then I have this metal container for my good pens. And this will also go behind the couch. This is just a regular pencil case full of pencils. And then where I have my, um, you know, stationary supplies, I'm going to keep the pens, the highlighters, as well as the whiteout and the correction pens. So that'll go under there. And then I have this tin of oil pastels and uh, like crepas crayons. So there are two bags that'll go with my grandkids, as well as the sidewalk chalk. So I have markers for them, old crayons, some um, twistables. That'll all go in the grandkids box. And then this is the paper that I tested everything out on, so I'm going to save it to use in a mixed media project. So this time I am really going to say goodbye, you guys. And again, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe if you feel like it. Um, I hope you guys are all doing really well. And two thumbs up for the KonMari method. Check out my other videos on my playlist. I'll see you guys very soon. Almost done with the whole cottage. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.